Good morning and welcome to Full of Beans Family Vlog. It's an early wake up time for us because we have to get going to get ready on a well deserved vacation to Mexico. Tara, samayan nyo kami on this three part series about our trip to Mexico. Yan, maaga pa lang, meron na kaming Uber driver. Maasahan talaga yan. Medyo madaling pa sa ngayon, pero okay naman yung visibility. Malamig, and it's forecasted to snow actually later on today. We arrived in the airport on time, and we actually gave ourselves at least two and a half hours of extra time. Mahirap na kasi ngayon because everyone is traveling and not all airlines are operating within full capacity. So we had to anticipate na merong mga delays, merong mga cancellations. So it's always good when traveling international that you give yourself a lot of time. Selfie time muna si Mommy Bean. We eventually made our way to the international gate. Hindi pa siya ganong busy at this time. Pero you can see that the people are piling up na. Na flag si Mommy Bean because of her breast pump. She had to take it with her kahit na hindi namin kasama si Baby Bean because she still has to pump. It was a quick check and the TSA did not even make a fuss about it. We were out within minutes later. So if you're wondering kung magkano ang binayad namin for this Mexico trip, we paid $1,200 each, a total of $2,400 Canadian dollars for a five-day, four-night stay sa Mexico. This is an all-inclusive package. What that means is kasama na lahat ng pagkain mo and as well as the drinks and that includes alcoholic drinks as we well. We bought our trip or package through Costco Travel. I think um, magandang magbook through them dahil at least covered ka ng Costco insurance kung sakaling something was to happen. Hindi naman siguro maglolo ko ang Costco. We are currently walking through the duty-free area. We couldn't care less about these duty-free items, actually. Dahil medyo mahal pa rin yung iba, syempre, for tourist pricing eh. It's about 6 o'clock at this time, and yan, nagugutom na si Mommy Bean. Our flight is not until 8.50, pero gutom na gutom na siya. <laughs> Nilabas na niya yung aming baon. Actually, she makes a really good sandwich. So it's an egg and ham sandwich. Yum. I normally don't eat breakfast this early, so I typically wait until noon for my first meal. Hanggang coffee muna lang ako. They announced na fully booked daw yung flight today. So they are asking for anyone who wishes to check in their baggage. It was a complimentary or free check-in. So right away, we volunteer kami. All we had to do was leave our carry-on by the hangar just before we get into the plane. Yan, boarding time na. Nagsi line up na mga tao. We began boarding and right away, we saw these two cute couple. Ang sweet-sweet nila. Holding hands pa sila. Sana, ganyan din kami pagdating ng araw. No kidding, it's a full pack flight. Halos wala na talagang space for the overhead. Luckily, we don't have to put our carry-on on there. And within minutes later, we are making our way along the flight runway. So, the place in Mexico we're going to is called San Jose San Lucas Los Cabos. So, it's further away from Cancun. I know Cancun is the most popular destination pag sinasabi natin Mexico. We heard great reviews about the area na it's a very relaxing area, mostly matatandaan na punta for vacationing, and it's very safe. So that's why we decided to try it out this time. Ito lang ang binigay nilang snacks. Lagot ka, pag gutom na gutom ka talaga at wala kang baon. They do have hot food on board, pero you're gonna have to pay for those. Lunch at snack time na rin ako. Ang dami talagang baon ni Mommy Bean. Ibang klase to. 
Takot na takot magutom. Shortly about 4 hours later, we began descending and within minutes later, nasa ground na kami. Yan ang mga faces ng mga excited na tourists. Tumigil na yung plane at yan, nag-una-unahan ng magkuha na ng kanilang mga gamit. Actually, a lot of the tourists are very friendly. All of them nearly clapped when we landed into uh, Los Cabos here. Ganun siguro when you're going into a tourist town. Lahat sila basasaya. Including us, of course. Kita-kita nyo naman under the mask. Ngiti ako ng ngiti. And the first destination is Sanitarios, which is bathroom or restroom sa Spanish. Grabe ang haba ng lineup sa immigration. Lahat to ang mga tourists. Most of these tourists are consisting of Canadians as well as Americans. Lahat sila, they're trying to escape the cold weather. We made our way to the baggage pickup area. And immediately, we found our baggages. We made our way toward the exit. And grabe, bago pa kami nakalabas. Kanya-kanya ng mga technique, yung mga travel agencies, excursion agencies. They really want to talk to us. And most especially, the timeshare dudes. Ang hirap lang kasi because you don't know which is the legitimate businesses here in Mexico. So you have to be very careful of who you talk to. After continuing on and saying no to a lot of people, we managed to go outside. We looked for Transcabo, yun yung aming shuttle service papunta sa aming hotel. It's a shared shuttle service na may mga kasama kaming ibang mga tourists. Naghintay lang kami ng a few minutes and a few minutes later, we're inside the shuttle or a small bus. Maganda yung area. Medyo may mga konting hills and valleys. And immediately we noticed na malinis siya. Like in the Philippines, meron ding tall boots that you have to pay. Parang almost every 2 to 3 kilometers may mga tallest din. Yeah, and after about 30 minutes of commute, nandiyan na kami sa San Jose del Cabo, Los Cabos. This area is very touristy and... Medyo updated yung mga buildings nila. Ang gaganda. If you pause the video for a moment, you will see na ang dami ding mga cactuses. Sa mga desert area lang, nag-grow yung mga cactus na yan. Nagbaba na kami ng ibang mga pasahero on their designated hotels. Finally, we made it to our resort. Diretso agad kami sa check-in area. Halos hindi pa kumpleto yung mga Christmas decorations nila, pero this carousel looks really cool. And finally, we got our keys to our room, as well as our wristbands. This gives us access to everything in the resort. Our first impression was, nasan yung mga tao? Parang hindi pa ganong busy. We arrived at about 3.30 at this point, and siguro mga nagnanap or nasa pool yung mga tao or they're doing some kind of an excursion o tuwang tuwa si Daddy Bean at si Mommy Bean immediately when we got off the third floor we're greeted by that room on the left that you see there yung madami mga mirrors yun yung, ma- yung room ng timeshare dun sila nagsesell ng mga timeshare ang dami mga aggressive agents doon. We will discuss that on a follow-up video. Naka-t-shirt na lang si Daddy Bean. Ang ganda kasi ng panahon. It's about 25, 26 degrees right now. Yeah, and they gave us two double-sized beds. Maganda. Malinis siya. And you can see may flamingo pa as well as a uh, wine in that table. I think my most favorite spot is this patio area. Sobrang na uhaw na ako for a cold drink. And look what I got in the fridge. And to top it off, look at this wonderful view. Maganda siya. Meron pa silang inihandang wine. This was such a nice touch. Ito yung dalawang flamingo na nagahalikan. 
Hindi ko alam kung guguluhin ko ba siya, gagamitin ko ba yung mga towels na to, o ano. And to somewhat feel like a don, binigyan kami ng robe and slippers to wear. By the way, those robes cannot be taken home, otherwise it's a $50 charge. Super hungry na kami at this point, so we are out to find something to eat. My eyes and senses are always gravitating toward the beach. Kita nyo naman ang ganda-ganda ng beach dito. Halos din ako makapaghintay na mag-swimming at magpain sa araw. So at this time, they only had the snack bar open. So they're serving burgers and hot dogs and nachos. We try to be a little healthy by not going with a bread and instead using the lettuce as the bun for our burger. But it still doesn't make sense because the rest of the food that you're eating is unhealthy. Eh. Pero yung nachos nila ang sarap talaga as in. Well, hanggang dito muna. Catch us on a part two and three of our Mexico trip. See you in the next vlog, guys.